I'm Allie Hutchison. I'm a wood carver that's been carving for about 10 years. I am uh, have a project here in front of us that has turned up with a problem during the carving. Since we always have problems as we carve, I thought I might show someone how they might solve this kind of a problem. As you can see, one front foot has broken off and the other front foot has been broken in two places already. And if you try to place him on the stump, he won't go over here right because his back feet won't fit. The only place that it will fit is right here to look natural. And if you put The foot, the way it was, there's no way that it will reach the wood. The reason that these feet have broken off the way they have is the grain is running this way and then makes the grain run this way through that little ankle and makes it weak when it's cut down and it makes the toes weak. What we want to do is put a piece of wood in here that runs this way with the grain running this way so that it will strengthen those toes and the ankles to make them as strong as we can because we want this carving to be valued by people and last a hundred years. As we make these feet we need to make them so that they will fit where they would naturally fit against the stump. We need to make a pattern for the block that is going to go across here. This is the pattern that we made. And the way that we made that pattern is to take the spot where the animal will be and draw around it. You want to cut a block out that's something like this that will fit right up here. And as long as his feet are along the edge, we can fit him against the block. If it's a little too tight, we can back him up a little bit, but we can do that right against the block as we fit as we carve. What we have done is traced this pattern onto a block of wood. Right here. And we have sorted out here to fit against the stump. This is the way the grain runs on the block. That way it will strengthen the feet that will be sticking out more or less in the, those directions. That's a lot better than the way the grain is running. If the grain were running this way, those little feet would be a lot more prone to break off. So we are putting in the chipmunk will fit in here like this, and it has to fit in tight because we want the glue joint to be as small as it can be. There will be a little line of glue that will show after it's carved. But we're fortunate because this chipmunk is gonna be painted like this and the paint will cover up the glue line. We want it to fit tight so the glue line will be small and we want to be able to have to carve these shoulders in so you won't see them. We've got it so that it fits in there. And the legs will come out sort of forward, sort of uphill here. So you can see that now the legs can stick out forward. It's enough room in here that we have enough wood up here to carve the shoulders out and the legs out and the feet out and 
we will have uh, what we need, I think, to carve it. You may also notice that when we started this process of making the block fit, we marked the front. We put a little arrow in here where it won't be seen uh, to be sure that the way we fit it, we glue it the same way. We don't want to glue it in and find out we have turned it wrong and now it won't fit the odd shape of the block. Now I'm going to get the glue and we're going to glue this in here. 